In this presentation, we are going to look at how Informatica's application integration platform can be used to Salesforce with DNB and MDM. Informatica's application integration platform provides a search before create functionality for Salesforce users wherein they can look for an account or a contact in an external system before creating that in Salesforce. As part of this functionality, users are guided through a set of screens that retrieve results from external systems in real time based on the search criteria. Once the results are displayed to the user, they can then import the existing record into Salesforce, thereby avoiding duplicate entries across systems and thus keeping the records in sync. Here are the two use cases that we're going to demonstrate. The first one is wherein we're going to query for an account um, in DNB and uh, bring it over into Salesforce, and then users can either import that record into Salesforce or skip the record. Once a record has been imported into Salesforce uh, from DNB, uh, there's a background process which synchronizes this record immediately with Informatica's MDN. Once the record has been synchronized, we'll then show you how you can update the record in MDM, and then in real time, those changes make its way into Salesforce. The second use case is wherein we're going to use the search before create feature uh, against MDM. In this case, we're going to look up a record against MDM and then bring that record into Salesforce in real time. Uh, we will then update the record in Salesforce and uh, show you how those changes make its way into MDM. In summary, not only are we giving you the ability to look up a record in real time uh, from an external system, um, we are giving you the feature to import it into Salesforce, and then we are also um, showing you how you can synchronize this record with external systems. Note that in this example, we are using DNB and MDM, but this is not restricted to these two systems. Uh, any system that provides us an API to talk to, we can basically incorporate that as part of the search before create example. I am going to now log into our Salesforce R and bring up the guide uh, that basically implements the search before create functionality. Uh, just to refresh everyone's memory, guides are a set of screens that run inside Salesforce, uh, and uh, these guides can be launched through a custom link in Salesforce, or they can be launched through a button, or they can run within the context of a specific uh, Salesforce object. In this use case, um, I have a custom link called DNB Search, and this is going to present a screen to me uh, with a predefined uh, search criteria. I'm going to look for Informatica, and I'm going to restrict my results to US. When I do a search in the back end, it's actually querying Informatica's MDM, it's querying Salesforce, and it's querying DNB. And it's going to return the results uh, from all those three different systems. So you can see here there are no records for Informatica LLC from Salesforce, uh, whereas DNB returned all these records, and there were no records in MDM. Uh, the record that I'm interested in is the first one. So I am going to get additional details for this particular record from DNB. When I click on get additional DNB details, in the background, there's a real-time web service call that's happening to uh, DNB's API. So now you can see I got additional details regarding this particular record. Uh, and having looked at all the details, this is indeed the record that I want to import into Salesforce. So now I want to click on this particular button. At this point of time, it's going to create a record in Salesforce, and it's going to redirect us to that page. So you can see here, this was the dance number for that particular record. So this was the first part of the use case wherein we looked up an external account in an external system. In this case, it was DNB, and then um, we then brought it over into Salesforce. The second part of this is wherein we are automatically synchronizing this with Informatica's MDM. So as soon as a new record is created here, um, an outbound message gets triggered, which calls an Informatica app integration process, which then gets all the details for this particular record and then uh, updates this record in MDM using um, MDM's uh, API. So if I go ahead and look for Informatica here, you can see here this record was created. Let's go into the business entity view. 
uh, all the information that was um, basically brought over from DNB. And then if I click on the business entity view, it also contains the Salesforce ID, uh, and this is the same ID as this one. So in order to keep these records in sync, we are utilizing the MDM row ID. If I refresh this page now, this particular um, record should have the MDM row ID. So in order to do the bidirection integration, we're utilizing the MDM row ID on one side, and we are utilizing the Salesforce ID on the other side. And in this way, we are keeping the two records in sync. Now, if I go ahead and update this record here, so let me um, update the phone number, let me change this 5,000 to 3,000, and save the record. Again, in real time, MDM will publish a message to uh, the JMS broker. Informatica's uh, secure agent will pick up that message, route it to an app integration process. The process will then call MDM's REST API to get all the details for that particular record, and then use the out-of-the-box Salesforce connector to update this record in Salesforce. So let me go ahead and refresh this, and you can see that the phone number was updated. So what we've seen is we've seen the search before create functionality wherein we looked up a record in an external system. Uh, we then imported that record into Salesforce. Uh, we then synchronized that record with Informatica's MDM behind the scene. Uh, and then we updated the record in Informatica's MDM and saw that those changes came over to Salesforce all in real time. All right, in the second part, uh, we're going to create a record in MDM, and then we're going to use the search before create functionality um, inside Salesforce to look up uh, that particular record from MDM and bring it over into Salesforce. Uh, and then we're going to update the record in Salesforce and show you how changes propagate um, into MDM. All right, so let me go ahead and create a new um, organization in uh, MDM. I'm going to use one of our uh, customers, Sunfar Corporation. I'm going to fill in some information here, mailing address. All right, so I've put in all this information. I'm going to save this record. The Sunpower Corporation has been created. Now I'm going to go to Salesforce and look for that account using the search before create functionality. So you can now see um, I got results back from DNB, and I also got results back from MDM. Because this record already exists in my MDM application, I am going to import this record from MDM this time and not DNB. So I'm going to do import from MDM. So now it's going to create a new record in Salesforce. It's going to have that unique um, row ID from MDM. So this is how we are basically keeping the records in sync. Uh, so we have shown the first part of the demo wherein we have brought over the record from MDM into Salesforce using the search before create functionality. Now what we want to do is we want to update the record in Salesforce um, and make sure that the changes made its way into MDM. All right, so I'm going to change the phone number here, probably change 5500 to 2500, save the record. Uh, behind the scenes, an outbound message gets triggered. It calls an Informatica process. Informatica then calls the MDM REST APIs uh, to upsert this information in MDM. So let me refresh this view. And you can see here the phone number was changed from 5500 to 2500. In conclusion, what we have shown is we have shown you the ability to look up a record in an external system. Uh, we have then shown you how um, you can use Informatica's application integration platform to keep these records in sync across different systems. Like I said, it's not just restricted to DNB and MDM. Uh, we just need an API to talk to uh, in order to keep these records in sync. That concludes the presentation on the search before create functionality.